www.ipthevoted.com and we're back on our classified website test demo site where I'm uh, going the, over the basics of WordPress and teaching beginners how to use WordPress, how to set up a website, and how to moderate it. So we covered um, a lot of things so far such as uh, menus and posts and pages and uh, this customized section um, how to uh, change the different colors and uh, we discuss widgets which is the sidebar here like certain things we added uh, this little image here and I showed you how to add and remove widgets and basically explained uh, what they are they're little um, blocks of uh, different things you can add in and out of your website to the footers and sidebars and headers and where basically anywhere you decide or where your theme allows you to um, and now in this section we're going to be discussing plugins and uh, plugins are kind of like a widget it adds uh, functionality to your website though they're more sophisticated they allow you to set up uh, pretty much anything and everything you can think of there's a, probably a plugin for it. Um, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of WordPress plugins uh, created every day and uh, already that have been created. And they do things such as uh, allow users to log in using Facebook, to uh, install in forms, to connect in your site, to auto publish on Facebook. Um, pretty much anything you can think of, there's a plugin to do it. Uh, some plugins help with SEO for instance uh, that's what we're going to discuss uh, right now we're going to go ahead and install a popular plugin called uh, Yoast and uh, what it does is is it helps us um, <clears throat> prepare our site for search engine optimization and I figured that would be a pretty good uh, plugin to install just to show you what a plugin is and also uh, we're going to install a contact form on our contact us page and we're going to use the plugin to do that so uh, let's get into it so to add a plugin you come here to the admin back end uh, the dashboard and you come down here to where it says plugins and we click install pl or install plugins to find out what we have by default uh, your theme comes with certain plugins depending on the theme and by default, uh, WordPress comes with plugins like Hello Dolly and uh, Jetpack and just different different things like that. Uh, WP Forms we have here is uh, pretty standard with WordPress. Uh, Bluehost is a plugin that my host is installed, pre-installed on their uh, when you install a website. WordPress website through Bluehost, you'll get a basically this plugin connects your uh, WordPress site to the Bluehost account and also um, displays um, premium themes. So it's a way for them to advertise and also uh, pretty much tells you right there. So if you're using Bluehost, you'll probably have that plugin already. But uh, we're going to click add new because this is how you add a plugin and you search right here or you can upload a plugin it's just like a, a adding a theme kind of which uh, I discussed already I have a video on WordPress uh, adding themes but we're gonna search for Yoast and here it is but before we do that I just want to give you an idea that there is so many plugins I mean, these are just from WordPress, but you can download plugins from third parties um, that does all kinds of stuff. Like if you were drop shipping, you can uh, download Alley Dropship. So. As you can see, you can buy plugins. There's like this one's $89. If you were running a dropship site, you'd be able to easily import products and stuff like that into your WordPress. But I just want to give you an idea there's more than just what's here. There's uh, third party developers, and a lot of these are third party developers 
affect most of these. And uh, what they do is they usually offer you like a free version. And then you can also update if you like it. Or and they usually give you more options when you upgrade to, to a, a premium plugin, for instance. So like they might give you the, like Yoast, for instance. When we come back to Yoast, it's a free plugin. <clears throat> it's actually right there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and install it. So click install now. But this helps with search engine optimization. And this is their free version. And we'll click activate. And they also have a premium version that extends the options that you have. But now that we activate it, we come over here, we can see that it added this new section here, which gives us all these options. And basically, if we come here to create a post, if we scroll down, if we edit one of these, we scroll down, we can see the options that it added in down here. This is the Yoast. This panel wasn't here prior to installing that plugin. And what it does is allows us to change our meta tags and our titles. So like, here's a preview of what your um, website page is, how it's displayed in Google SERPs, which is on the Google website when you search something. For instance here, when we search dogs, this is how your website's displayed. This is your title tag and your your domain URL and then the description. And as you can see, each page has its own. They set it up the way they want for SEO. And you can see the keyword that we used was dogs and it's highlighted that. So it would be a good idea to have the keyword in the title. But that's all part of SEO and we'll get into that later on. But for now, I just wanted to show you what a plugin is and explain what it does. And this is a Yoast plugin. And it, let's say we wanted to change uh, the title of our page. We can do that by changing this tag here or adding to it. So let's delete this out. And you can see here a title of our page is Dogs. So we want to add to that and say dogs and then protect people and you can see the way it's going to look in the search results since we did have that in here that dogs protect people from harm we can add that in and we can also change the slug and add a meta description so we can put Dogs protect people from harm. And you can see how it updates. So that's basically what Yoast does, and it does a whole lot more than that. But I'm not going to explain that now. I'll cover Yoast in another video. It'll be a separate video by itself. But for now, that's a, a plugin, and that's what it does. It adds functionality to your site. <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is add a um, contact us form to our contact us page and we're going to do that using a plugin so we come here to plugin add new and we're just going to search contact form 7 and here it is this is a pretty standard plugin that I use. I mean, there's different plugins. There's thousands of plugins that add contact forms to your website. You would just have to pick one. But this is the one that I prefer to use because it's pretty standard and a lot of themes uh, implement contact form 7. So we activated it. And now you can see over here that it uh, added contact forms 
pretty sure this is it. And we're going to click it. And we're going to go ahead and add a new one. <clears throat> and we're just going to put contact us. And we're going to save it. Okay, I got sidetracked there. I was reading something else. But, um, so we go ahead and save that. And now it's going to give us a short code, which I'm going to cover what short co codes are. But basically, a short code is a little snippet like this. And wherever you place this short code, you can place it pretty much anywhere on your website. It's going to display whatever it's doing so in this case it's going to display a contact us form so we're going to copy this short code and we're going to come back to our pages and we're going to go to our contact us page click edit and instead of having our email and our phone number there we don't need an email and we don't need our phone number there we're just going to paste our contact us form and click update. And then above that, we might put something. As soon as it updates, I'll, sh I'll show you. Um, it's pretty standard that, that we display something like this. If you have any questions or need help please use the form below and we will respond to you as soon as possible thank you And now we'll update that. And like I said, guys, um, we're just uh, covering the basics of WordPress. So a lot of this stuff, uh, all you guys that is familiar with WordPress knows. But um, there's a lot of people out there that's just starting out for the first time that have no idea how to do any of this stuff and that's what these videos are um, for is them people so we'll go ahead and view our page and you can see that it now has a contact form so that they can fill out and uh, whenever they fill this out and send it it's going to be sent to the the administrator it's email account which is under settings in general so whatever email is in this box is where uh, that contact form is going to be sent to so normally you wouldn't have this email in here you would have like a support at kerncountyads.com or whatever your domain is but Right now, it's set to my junk email because it's testing. But basically, that's what plugins do. They add functionality to your website. And uh, I'll go ahead and add one more just to give you an idea of what uh, plugins can do. We're going to go ahead and add um, some forms to our website. Or actually a good one to add will be uh we'll click add new woocommerce so let's say we wanted to add a shopping cart to our website uh the most popular shopping cart is woocommerce i don't know why it keeps disappearing but there we go 
and here's WooCommerce and what it does. WooCommerce is a powerful extendable e-commerce plugin that helps you sell anything beautifully. So we'll install that. And what it does is uh, allows you to set up a shop on your website. And we'll activate it. And I'm going to be doing a whole video series on WooCommerce. It's pretty advanced. Uh, we're not going to set it up right now. But basically um, what WooCommerce does is add a shopping cart to your website. And that's how you do it. Uh, that's what plugins do. And just for kicks, we're going to add one more. And we are going to set it up. We'll just add um, some forms. And <clears throat> people know what forms are. They're like the old school messaging boards. Nowadays, it's more advanced. Uh, they have more advanced things like Discord and, and uh, more mobile friendly versions, like kind of like Facebook groups. The old, old, old forms back in the day. Um, their message boards and uh, they're not very uh, mobile friendly the older ones like BB Bulletin and all that stuff back um, in the old days PHP BB and all them they weren't very mobile friendly they're kind of old school um uh, like let's just type in uh, what's a good form uh, some kind of medical form and you'll see these are probably more up-to-date forms but uh, here we'll go back here I'm kind of getting off topic here but I just want to give you an idea of what what a uh, a form is or what it looks like they're basically small communities or big communities that people depend on what it is here's a form here and they have these different topics and then when you click into these topics it allows people to have discussions like so, like this guy here, he's, he's talking about something and then people can reply to that, reply to his, uh, whatever he's talking about. He's having knee problems, growth spurt, looks like. So people can like reply back and have discussions on that. So we're going to add that to our website, something sort of like that. And we did. <clears throat> close some of this out here we go we have forms here I just give you an idea of, of, um, of the kind of power that plugins can do they can add huge sections to your website let's just say we wanted to add something like uh, old car form and now you can see here we have that if we go to our website I don't use this plugin, but um, <clears throat> just just for uh, demo purposes. So it probably created a page called Form, and it did. So we can view that. And you see how it added this whole section here. That's how um, advanced plugins can get. I mean, they can add just so much into your page with just one little plugin. You can add entire stores, shops, forms, you name it. 
whatever you can think of there's probably a plugin that'll that'll let you do it so but basically that's what plugins do um, as we cover more advanced subjects we're gonna I'm gonna um, show you some pretty cool plugins and uh, and we're gonna be setting up plugins quite a bit so right now we're just covering the basics and I just wanted to explain to all the people that just starting out uh, the difference between play, uh, widgets which is the sides here and different little things you can add to your website and plugins which add huge functionality to your website so uh, thank you guys and uh, if this video helped you at all please like and share it I appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video